Holly Ultimate Gardeners, welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. I'm Imani Arce, the Ultimate Gardener. My goal is to help you guys grow in the garden industry and help you guys become an Ultimate Gardener. So in today's exciting spreading video, I'm going to show you guys how to care for a rose bush. I really love roses in the garden because it brings that elegance and that delicacy in the garden. So I think every gardener in this world should have this, but of course, every plant is adjusted towards your preference but this is definitely in my preference and i absolutely love it so this is a white rose called iceberg rose this this is a floribunda so i absolutely love so there's different types of roses uh which is a floribunda and there's different types of like hybrids of roses which i'll be leaving a list up on the screen of the most common ones that are seen in florida but this is an iceberg flora bunda rose. My preferable uh, rose type is flora bunda because these types of roses are used more for cut flower arrangements because of the structure the flower has. And yes, I am a florist and I've been flowering doing flower arrangements for years now. And so adding these types of plants with these amazing structures really does help me. And I really love when gathering flowers in the garden to do an all garden flower arrangement. Um, so comment down below if you want me to do a all garden flower arrangement one of these days So let's go ahead and jump right into the first tip towards how to care for your rose. So guys coming at number one is watering So this type of rose the floribunda prefers to be watered mediumly Which means not too little or not too much the consequences before behind uh, Watering too much is it could cause root rot which is very, very common with, with roses, which means that once you water too much, the roots are gonna start to rot, and then the entire different, the entire rose is gonna change to a light green, then to a yellow, and then die eventually. So you want to give it the proper water. What is the consequence for watering too little? When watering too little, it could actually uh, cause the rose to be in a lot of stress, especially here in FL because it's very windy and it's a lot of heat. So you need to have your plants happy with the amount of water it needs. So the consequence behind not watering uh, enough to your roses is it could automatically shock it and kill it right in that instant because roses need that constant water to be, to like number one, to perform their new growth on top and to have a big bold of flowers for you guys because watering is a huge thing that gardeners really struggle with. So I'm planning to do a detailed uh, video on how to water, so please stay tuned with us. So that's uh, the details on how to water your rose. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump in fertilizer. So guys, coming at number two is the most important thing is fertilizing. Roses absolutely love and need a fertilizer to give the best performance ever. The top, top, top fertilizer I would recommend is Rose Tone from the Espoma Organic Company or another alternative towards that is Plant Tone, which Plant Tone is amazing. I usually find it here everywhere because that's like the go-to thing of mine because I don't find Rose Tone here. But there's other companies that create rose uh, fertilizers uh, out there. So I'll be leaving like a few pictures of some of them that I see and I use sometimes. So that's a few recommendations. But what could happen when fertilizing? Fertilizing could go ahead and activate new growth on top and as well activate a ton of flowering and performance in your rose bush, which is gonna create a huge bush and huge flowers. And that's the great thing when fertilizing. When I started off, I didn't know fertilizing was a thing. So my roses were basically sticks and the flowers were small. But when I started fertilizing, they started growing big and giving me these shows that I've never seen before. So that's why fertilizing is a huge key when man maintaining roses. Now let's go ahead and move on to number three, which is... So coming at number three is pruning. Pruning is, uh, is a huge must when having roses because the thing is, when you have your first flush of flowers this year, of course, those will eventually die out and they will stay with the plant. And if you leave those flower, those dead flowers there, the plant is going to send energy and toward creating seeds and we do not want seeds, we want flowers. So when having dead uh, roses, this is the method called deadheading, which is the process or the method where you cut the dead flowers to promote more flower growth and more leaf, uh, foliage growth. So that's the most thing because when having seed pods there, it absorbs too much energy. So we want focusing on um, 
more foliage growth and more flower growth. That's what's the main key of having a row. The next thing coming up is sunlight. Coming at number four is sunlight requirements. Roses prefer to be in a part shape to part sun location. Why you may be asking for other areas, for example, like Oregon and all those types of uh, states, they have snow and they go down below freezing temperatures, which in that case, you want to put them in a full sun area. But here in FL, we have tons of heat. So we would, I would recommend if you live in Florida and you want a rose, I would recommend to go ahead and plant this in a part shade, part sun area, because the thing is when having beaming sunlight towards these, it could uh, create sun scorch and uh, like sun scorch on the flowers, which doesn't make the plant look very pretty. And it makes it look like a cactus that belongs in a desert. So you don't want that. So I would prefer part sun, part shade area so you can have the best performance. Now, moving on to what roses are most commonly used. So guys, now for the final tip of roses is a few things or a few recommendations I would recommend in using a rose. So a rose is great for a rose hedge, which looks pretty because in, in one point of the year, you have this huge wall of roses with different colors or one certain type of color, which looks amazing. I've seen pictures um, or I've seen places here in Florida where we drive past them. They look amazing, you guys. So if you want that hedge, I would recommend it. Another thing is which a lot of this is used is a rose garden, which is usually uh, used for those florists who love doing flower arrangements. So that's where you would usually commonly see a rose garden. But the whole reason why I have a rose right here is because I'm a florist, of course, and I use it for cut flower arrangements because roses is the key thing when having flower arrangements because roses give that structure and when they open up it's so pretty and it fills up the spots that you couldn't get so that's the good thing about roses and also because the stem is long and i absolutely love it and once you cut a stem for example here in this rose you can see there was a cut it's starting to give new growth right here and it's going to start shooting upwards and as well right here this was cut right here and new growth is coming out the side so that's sort of what you like because when cutting the flowers it's sort of like deadheading which promotes more um foliage growth and stuff like that and so i would recommend getting a rose a hundred percent so yeah so that's basically it all the tips i have hopefully you found this video very educational and informative so let's go ahead and wrap up this video. so guys that's it for this exciting sprouting video i want you guys to comment down below what's your favorite type of rose to have in the garden because the iceberg rose is my go-to so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and if you want to support my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to get a found when a new exciting sprouting video comes out just like this one. Make sure to hit that bell notification button so you get notified when a new exciting sprouting video comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching and never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners. Bye guys.